a pleated prism fold, folding the cube As can be seen, this particular cube has a pocket created by a pleat inside the cube in which you can insert a small square to attach cubes together. You begin folding this cube by dividing it into a 5x5 five five grid. To fold a square into fifths or a rectangle into fifths, you can use several different methods that are commonly available across the web. I have provided you a link from Sarah Adams. You will also see a method for folding into fifths using templates in my videos. The next step is to valley fold and unfold a diagonal on each of the squares on each corner. Notice the increase just across the one square on the, each corner. The next step is to perform a mountain fold and unfold on the diagonals on the outside squares of the second and fourth rows. Here, 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 and here. This is a mountain fold. The best way to do that is to turn the paper over and do a valley fold on the other side. Notice, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold. Next, <clears throat> valley fold diagonals on the first rows. This is in the opposite direction of the other valley fold. This time you will not unfold the fold. This is only done on the top.
turn the paper over to the other side. Notice the vertical lines. Bring the second vertical line over to meet the first vertical line, forming a plate. Repeat on the other side. We now have all the folds necessary to complete the final assembly. This will be the inside of the cube. This will be the outside of the cube. We will work from the inside pleated side. We will start with the larger wings, which are these two large creases at the top. We bring those two creases together, and we bring the cube up to form one side of the cube. Notice that the wings are sticking out on the side. We repeat the process on the bottom. Notice that here we have the flap folded in and the wings are smaller. But the process is similar, bringing the small wings up. Now we insert the small wings inside the larger wings. and bring the cube together. Notice that the small wings fit entirely, entirely inside the larger wings. Smaller wings entirely inside the larger wings and we close the cube up. You might now want to bring the flap down to set that crease. Bring this flap down to set that crease. The next step is to form the nest. We need to nest the pleats on the top and the bottom together. We open up one of the bottom pleats and insert a top pleat inside. We bring it together part way. We repeat the process on the other side. Open up a pleat on the bottom, insert the top pleat inside, bring it together part way. You can see how it's starting to come together. Now we carefully work the pleats together. The box starts, begins to become very stable. The pleats are nested at this point. The final step is to insert the large wing inside the pocket on the side. You begin by curving the large wing. You place the tip of the wing towards the middle of it and work it towards the back, working the edge down and into the pocket, finally working the rest of the wing into the pocket and folding it up tight. Let's repeat the process on the, same, the other side. Curve the wing, tip of the wing towards the middle, work it towards the back, bringing the edge down and into the pocket, finally bringing the outside edge into the pocket and bringing it together, and our cube is completed. This cube is extremely stable.